Hey guys, it's the Penny Pinching Prepper here, <clears throat> and uh, if you like my channel, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. Today, I'm going to do a really quick video. Um, found one of these guys, you've watched any of my previous videos, you see I, I commonly use uh, my magnesium bar and striker. Now this is a, a product that a lot of new preppers tend to go to because it's cheap and uh, when they see people use it they go oh that's great <clears throat> but there's maintenance and proper usage on these things so a lot of people get frustrated and toss them to the wayside and don't use them because um, it's just one of those things where you know they can't figure out how to properly take care of it and use it <clears throat> And when I say this, um, one of the things I've pointed out before is the striker, all right? I use a striker like this, and the reason I use this instead of the ones that, like, have the fancy, you know, uh, like a hacksaw where it's serrated on one side and maybe got a, a U-notch in it or something like that with some teeth or whatever, is you have... A ferrocerium rod on one side here and on the other side you have a block of magnesium okay you need to scrape the magnesium off and a lot of people are gonna go well isn't that what the the saw blade side is for well the saw blade side doesn't work as well as it should or as properly as it should yeah it's easier and you can get a pile faster but that I'll get to the that point in a second all right so the other thing is is even a hacksaw blade the the sharpness of the angle for the strike is going to wear down hard and those are much harder to get that uh, 90 degree angle back onto all right and what I mean by that is when I say one of the things I say is maintenance and upkeep. When you're using the, the magnesium side, it's going to dull fast. Even using the striker, it's going to dull, but or the magnesium strip, it's going to dull. Uh, or excuse me, the ferrocerium rod, it will dull on that side. But it's definitely going to dull whether it's the, the saw blade or one of these or whatever, your, even your knife is going to dull getting the magnesium down. So I use a diamond sharpener and it's really simple to do. All right, guys. So all you got to do is you start by laying it flat. All right. And just as flat as you can get it just smooth it out and go both ways all right it's not gonna hurt it go both ways and what you're doing here is you're just taking a little bit off of it and getting rid of that round edge all right but you're gonna have to do all four sides all right so you do that side and then you flip it to the other side you do that side all right and there'll be a Let's, let's see if we can get it to come into focus. You see how that the middle of it kind of got a little shiny? All right, that's that's telling me that it's, it's grabbing, all right? So if the edges are getting shiny, that's really all you need, all right? And that's going to be much harder for me to show you. So really, we're just looking to clean those edges up. But we got to do it flat. And if you notice, I'm pushing my finger down on it to make sure that it's flat, that there's not a little bow in it somewhere, or maybe it's warped so i'm making sure that it's flat and i'm getting all the surface all right now when you do that like i said flip to the other side make sure that side's good and you can kind of feel if it if it's grabbing and if it's grabbing then it still needs to be sharpened all right <clears throat> then you come back and do your edges all right We're going to 
going to do both edges. Now you might have to do it just a little bit longer than I'm doing here. And I'm using my fine grit. I'm not using my heavy grit. All right. Because we're just trying to clean it up. All right. And then you're going to have to come back in just a couple more times real fast to get any last minute burrs that you might have off. All right. <clears throat> And that cleans up your blade. Now you can do this to the, the back of your knife spine. You can do this on anything that you're trying to get that, that 90 degree angle to be able to use your, your spark or your, your ferrocenium rod. All right. Now your ferrocenium rod will, after you use it a couple of times, it'll give you a little dark spot on your blade and that's the easiest way to indicate what side you're using your ferrocenium rod for because you're not going to want to use the same side of your ferrocenium rod as you do your magnesium so we flip it over all right so my burn marks there so I was using it that way so I'm gonna flip it over and this give me one second I'm actually gonna bring this closer so you guys can see it better All right, so when you're doing your magnesium and you're trying to take it off, a lot of times you just sit here and you do this thing, right? And you're trying to scratch it. And what you actually end up doing is you're, you're creating a dust. And the dust doesn't burn or light as fast as curls do. All right, so what you really want to do with your magnesium bar is you want to curl it. And the way you do that is you do it just like you're going to use your ferrocenium rod. You get that angle. All right. And you apply a lot of pressure. And you notice how I'm getting my, oops, sorry, getting my thumb right up on there. All right. And we're going to make curls. Or at least do our best to get curls. And you're pushing hard and you're going slow. You're not going fast. All right. bring these closer in a second so you can get a better idea of what's really going on here. I can pick it up once I get the idea of what my pressure is, where I'm scraping, how I'm scraping. All right. So let me show you a little bit what's going on here. So I know from down there it looks like dust. But when I bring it up, you'll see that those are actually little teeny tiny little curls. All right. Now to give you a uh, comparison, I'll go ahead and do it the way that, you know, most of us are taught to do it. do it that much because I don't like it all right but you'll see that it's really I mean there's a couple of little curls in there but you'll notice that it's just little teeny tiny little flakes and dust for the most part right that doesn't ignite as much if you see when this comes together it'll actually kind of fluff up there a little bit it'll get some depth to it and have some air that can get in between the magnesium and as we all know you need air for fire all right so once you get that up you uh 
bring it all together, bring all those little curls in. All right. You'll see how easy this little magnesium actually goes up. I gotta check my sides here. There we go. So really simple, really fast, really quick. And when you know how you're doing it, super efficient. Now, I'm gonna bring this camera down. I'm gonna show you what happened and, and why it's a little bit different with curls than with dust, because you will see the way the fire actually builds. And uh, this is gonna be really hard. Hold on a second, let me come back behind. And you're, you're gonna see it from the fact of how, sorry, angle's bad. Let's get this down in here. Yep, wrong way, there we go. You can see that it actually lifted into a big pile. I'm having real bad problems with my camera today. There we go. Okay, so. Sorry about that. To give you an idea, I'm going to put my finger down there and you can see that it's actually lifted up off the ground. And that's what makes a real huge difference, guys, is. I'm sorry about that. When you do it the proper way, it actually works super effective. You can pick these up for, you know, $1.99 to 5 bucks, depending on the brand and where you get it. And I actually love these things. It took me a while to figure out how to use them, but once I figured it out, super effective. You just got to maintain them and uh, use them properly. Don't just don't just assume that everybody knows what they're talking about. Don't even assume what I'm talking about. I mean, do your own research. But uh, had I known these helpful tips earlier, I wouldn't have. You see how messed up my magnesium strip there is in the middle, or uh, ferrocenium rod is there in the middle. That was because. I went through heck trying to figure out how to use the magnesium part and just spark after spark after spark of frustration wearing it down to almost nothing and now you see when I use it I barely use that much of it you know from there over sorry bring it out from there over so that's that's all I'm using anymore. I, I don't need to use the whole thing now that I know how to properly um, use my magnesium strip and ferro, or ferro rod. Um, I will be bringing more useful tips like this to you uh, in the future. And um, I hope you appreciate and like and got some useful information out of this. Uh, I'm going to sign off here and remember God's good and God bless.